Today we will be going over how to draw the face in different angles. Now drawing the face is something that I have personally struggled with and I've seen many artists struggle with. So I hope this tutorial helps you all and yeah, this is one of my first tutorials ever on this channel. So if you guys have any tips for me or any pointers for me in the future, please do let me know down in the comments. Yeah, let's go. In this tutorial, we will be covering pretty much everything there is to drawing the face. We will go over the general shape of the face. We will go over the construction, the anatomy, all the other parts of the face, which such as the nose, the teeth, the ears, the eyes, the hair, etc. After that, we will move on to drawing the drawing to drawing full faces in different angles. The first thing we have to learn when it comes to drawing the face is drawing the general shape of the face, which is a box, similar to the one right here. Now, this is one of the most basic shapes an artist learns in their career and is, to be honest, one of the most important shapes an artist can learn in their career. Before we can draw a face in different angles, we should know how to draw a box in pretty much every single angle imaginable. And this is pretty easy. You can just, I mean, you can try practicing how to do it in like your free time or pretty much any time you get, right? But drawing the box is a must if you want to learn how to draw faces in different angles, right? You must be able to, able to draw the face in a topwards position, a downwards position, pretty much anything you can think of, right? I will draw some a few examples for you. After that, we will move on to the next, you know, thing, right? After that, we'll move on to construction of the face, right? We will also be going over the anatomy of the face in this tutorial. So, yeah, I hope that helps. So, yeah, that's a face facing side base, if you will. Upside. Let's see. Let's do a. Let's do one facing downwards. And yeah, you should learn how to draw these without any, you know, like without any weird guides, right? You should know how to draw a box pretty much from the get go, like I am doing right here, right? I'm not really using what do you call it? Wait a second, I'll show you. I'm not re really using a method like this, right, to draw a box. Since it's, well, it's not really easy to draw, draw a box like this, if, especially if you're going to be rotating it in different perspectives. So, yeah, that sh it sh would be a good idea to learn how to draw a box pretty much from any single angle without drawing two boxes, you know, like parallel to each other and stuff. I'll draw around, let's see, yeah, I'll draw one more example after that, let's go on to the construction and anatomy of the face. By the way, do not skip this, you have to learn how to draw a box in different angles if you want to learn how to draw a face in different angles, cause drawing this may seem pretty simple, but to be honest, it it is one of the most overlooked things I've seen by artists before and is one of the most important thing an artist should learn before they continue with their journey in art. Now, now we will, let's, now let's go over the construction of the head, right? I, in the whole tutorial, you'll see that I have already drawn examples on the left side of the canvas so that it is easier for for everyone to, what do you call it? To get some kind of, okay, I can't fucking know. Get an idea of what it should look like. Yeah. Now, and over, let's see. Give me a second, I'm gonna split this thing. Let's see.
Three months before we will start with the box and we will after that go on to drawing the anatomy of the human head. Okay, give me a second I'm gonna make it a little longer so you know it's facing towards the right side. Okay, I guess this looks. Yeah. So we'll just start with the normal box, and after that, we'll build up on it. We'll lower the opacity a bit so it's easier for everybody to look at, to see what I'm doing. Just start with a with the normal circle. Oh yeah, you guys might hear a little background noise that's because my mom is talking to an aunt or something, so yeah. You can't really do anything about it. Yeah. We'll start with a circle like so. Now this will be the crinum of the top of the head, right? The where the frontal and the fractal bones lie, right? So after that, since he is facing towards the right, right? towards the right, right? After that, we will split it in two. And now it's the same process for pretty much drawing the face in every angle imaginable, right? Now you have to draw the side of the head. So we can add another circle over here. Now make sure that the circle is a little close to the boundary of the first circle. And make sure it's not small by any means. Since, you know, the side of the head is pretty damn big. Uh, this distance now pay attention to the distance of the circle and just multiply it by two and go the same around the same distance down below to find the chin. To find the eyes, just split the second circle in half and go around the curvature of the circle like so. Now, this is the top of the eye, well, this is the brows, These, this line is where the brows will go, and this line is where the bottom of the eyes will go. After that, it's pretty simple, just trim, it, trim the circle a little from from the far side and go down and up like so. Your jawline starts from the center of the circle, goes a little your lower jaw, sorry, starts from the center of the circle, goes a little down, curves, and in. Okay, the curve is a little too, yeah, it goes 
around here and it goes inwards. There you go. It's a little too long, so I'll just shorten a bit. After that, you can just go. You can, since you're doing the skull right now, you won't really draw the neck, but. We'll go over drawing the neck and everything later on in the tutorial. However, if you want to know how to cut joints, just joints like this from the back of the head. Similar in similar to this drawing example thing. Yeah, the now the middle of the distance is the with the mouth is now the middle of the mouth and this distance is where the nose will end similarly the middle of the, the distance between the mouth and the nose will be the top lip and the distance between the mouth and the chin will be the bottom lip and even between that will be the chin itself i'll highlight them when i'm done by the way so give me a second i'll just highlight them right now Bottom lip. There we go. This is the chin. Chin, and this will be nose. These will be the eyes. And the hairline will be like so. We won't really add a hairline right. We won't really add any hair right now, cause you know it's going over the skull. But I will go over the hairline later on. The hairline will be. This will be the hair. Hairline. Let's go. I'll just lighten this too and let's make a new layer and go over it. These are this is your eye socket and this is your what do you call it? Zygomatic bone. The zygomatic bone will start from here, like so. Inverts right here. Wait. No, no, no. That is like that. After that, as we'll go in, up. We'll go from the inside to the outside, just like this. Now the zygomatic bone portrait is a bit outwards, as you'll see later on in the video. But this is a very important landmark of the face, by the way. You have to learn how to properly place a zygomatic bone if you want to learn how to draw the face. This is a very important landmark. We will now draw the glabella, the nasal bone, and the nose itself.
dentro. Similarly, we will draw the second eye. And here too, we will draw the zygomatic bone. Now, zygomatic bone ends around the tip of the nose. The same length to that, right? It's this. After this, we will go over the cranium. Now the cranium, now the head doesn't exactly perfectly round. By the way, make sure you remember this. The head is not perfectly round. We start with the ball, obviously, but since it's the most easiest shape, but the head itself is not perfectly round. Round. Oh, the head is a lot longer towards the back oftentimes when drawing the head people neglect neglect this which is which makes the head look weird to be honest now we'll just end the head over here Now, when you're drawing an actual, when you're drawing a face, right, the, you will see that the jaw starts over here, but in reality, it starts over here, right? It looks as if it's going a little more upwards, when in reality, it starts a little below. Remember that. After that, we will just go over the teeth. I will not be making all the teeth right now. I will have a go over the teeth. I will tell you all. Pretty much everything about the teeth, but not right now. No. Yeah, I drew the chin a bit too long. skull Oh god, the dick is fucking weird. There we go. This is the maxilla. This is zygomatic bone or the cheekbone. And I'll, pretty, I'll only be going over the most important bones, like, I mean, there are a lot of bones in the human body, like there is the lacrimal bone right over here, there is the spheroid bone over here, the temporal bone, the occipital bone, and pretty much a lot of other bones, but I'll only be going over the bones that are actually gonna help you when it comes to drawing the face in different angles, which is which are the cheekbones. I'll just draw a single one. Or the zygomatic bone and yeah 
the this landmark on the human head known as the globelum. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure that when drawing the head, the cheek, remember that the cheekbone portrays outwards and obviously like the skull, right, is a bit inwards from one of the sides. That makes sense. God, it's saving the game. Yeah, my PC is dead, so you know it happens. The skull usually is a bit inwards from the side compared to the top, so th that's why we made one of the sides a bit more flatter when we were drawing the head. Here's the top, yeah. The head, the cranium has more of an ovalisk shape rather than a circle shape. There you go. You won't really need you won't really need to learn how to how a lot when it comes to anatomy how more of it works since you know we are going over the head so we'll only be going over around this much when it comes to anatomy. Pretty much only to tell you about the bones that are portray outwards and the bones that are inwards. Like the eye like the eye sockets are a bit more inwards. Same over here, and the frontal bone is a lot more forward, right? Similarly, like even on the glabella, it goes a bit inwards, then comes a bit outwards, right? As for the maxilla, it won't really help you to learn about the maxilla since it's pretty. It doesn't really that important so yeah in a second I thought no yeah there you go yeah that's a skull yes we'll start going over the nose so yes there you go the nose This tutorial is going shit, by the way, I know. Okay, when drawing the nose, we we always start with a single shape, as in a triangle. After that, we can just add a small circle beneath, and a small, another small triangle over here. Now this is known as the bridge, this is known as a ball, and this is known as a wing. They technically have more difficult words to, to pronounce them too, but you know, you don't really need to learn them. Unless you're actually going for that kind of work, so yeah. Very anyway, much, just start from the top. Just follow triangle and you can pretty much make any type of nose, right? Make sure... It's it's a bit goes a bit inwards and outwards from the top and yeah uh, there you go and for the wing the wing is te is technically connected to the nose so obviously we'll make it is technically a circle yeah like that After that, it'll go a bit downwards, up, and in. Like that. Now we will do the one on the other side. Nose. Similarly, if you are drawing a nose with a bridge that extrudes a bit more outwards, the process is pretty much the same for pretty much everything when it comes to the nose. Like, go up, down, out, in. 
similarly, we will draw the wing. Now you have a nose with a little bit of an arch. I have some examples about the nose over here too, but if you want, want to look at it, go ahead. Similarly, if you're drawing just the front of the nose, we start with a circle with two little triangle thingies at the end of it. Oh god, I just turned the long, long view of the thing a second. But nose, there you go. So if you're drawing the nose from a top angle, right? It will just it will pretty much it will be pretty much the same, but similar to these, right? The nose has a has a shape that's similar to like a really distorted out M or like a really bent paper clip, so We'll go with that. There you go, the things. And the ball. Now we will obviously like trim that in. It actually looks like a nose. Make it a little less distorted. There you go. There you go. Now, if you're drawing the nose from a downwards angle, right, it's pretty much the same too. You start with like a, a flat triangle to like an upwards arch from the middle. And just do circles in the middle. And just do more circles. Uh, make sure that the circles are on the same length, by the way. After that, it's pretty much the same as this example, right? I'm drawing this quickly since you know I'm trying to make trying not to make this videos way too long so but if you guys would prefer that please let me know I don't mind I don't personally mind filming long videos I just want you know not spend my well first of all not spend my whole day doing a fucking video Second of all, I'm also taking part in like Cliff Studios, how to draw face in different angles, tutorial thing, so you also have that. Oh, they're a bit too small. Give me a second, I'll just enlarge these. Looks too small. Uh, 
There you go. Similarly, if we are going to draw a nose that's a bit facing us a bit more, right? Like similar to how this nose is. How this nose is. So pretty much the same process. But this time the triangle will be a little more skewed. That a ball looks not that weird. So we have room for it. Yeah. Ah, this time we will draw the wings on both sides. Looks messy, I know, but as long as there's a messy page, it works. Not make the nose a bit longer so it looks humane. Right? There you go. After that, just the same. We draw the wings. Similarly, the other wing. Most of the times, you don't really see both the wings of the nose unless you're drawing it from the front, which it will just look similar to these. Over here, it'll just you know like join the top of the head. Where uh, you know, over here, right? So we join over here, and the nose has has like a similar to a triangular shadow shape. Low. like this obviously as the face rotates the nose will obviously rotate with it so there will be times where you will look, you will see the nose pretty much blocking. Let's see if, let's say if you're looking at the face from like a downwards angle, right? It it will make the nose pretty much block the whole eye out. You know, you can't really, in the sense that you can't really see the eye because the nose is blocking it. This process is pretty much the same for pretty much every kind of nose, right? You probably start with a triangle and you add a oval shape under it. So at times the the wing will be a bit more larger. At times it will be a bit smaller, you know, depending on your character's personality. But it is just like this. Oh yeah, by the way, the wing does not it does you can't really see the wing joining the nose like this from the top, but I'm just always like to add a little line over here to show that, you know, it goes upwards right now similarly you will draw a small triangle when you're shading right you will draw a small triangle and shade it in and lock it yeah wait not like that oh god looks horrible there you go we shade it in a little Okay, something similar to that, to that. I also think it will benefit everybody if you all learn how to, if you all learn about the planes of the head, you can find, it's pretty easy to find 
free 3D models of the planes of the head if you want to learn more about the head, which it will allow you to better visualize the head in different angles. And after that, you can just trace over it and, you know, go at it again. But I want you all to make sure that you all know, right, that drawing the face is not something that you can learn over a single day or even a single tutorial, right? You have to, you won't really learn it unless you go at it at your own, right? Unless you practice how to draw the face at your own, unless you try to do it at your own and find references for it at your own. I will link my, my Pinterest and stuff down below if you want to find good references. I have a, a bunch of them down below. There's a pin, there's a board with references for hair, outfits, pretty much everything. You can find references about pretty much everything that will help you a lot. Now, when it comes to drawing the teeth, right? The humans have pretty two teeth. I think we all know that, right? Now, the thing with drawing the teeth is that in when you're actually, when it totally depends on different art styles, right? At and at art style, at different art styles, you'll see people draw teeth differently. There will be times where you will see that people are drawing every single teeth, and there are times where people will just show that they are teeth like this, right? You don't really need to draw every single teeth. However, uh, you should know how to draw the teeth at different angles. Drawing the angle, drawing the teeth at different angles, is pretty much the same as everything else we have learned. You just start out with the box. However, this time the box, you bend it a little, right? Or you can say it's a ribbon if you want, but you know, it's a, it, it raises it outwards as well. There it goes. After that, you can just fatten it up a bit to make it seem as if, you know, there's more, there actually is a lot more to it. There you go. A general shape of when it comes to drawing the teeth in different angles. I've seen, also, like, I've seen a lot of times where an artist would, you know, like, draw the teeth, but however, they will, like, make it so that the teeth pretty much keep going and, you know, like, never end, which is obviously wrong, right? Even, look at this example, for instance. Mm -hmm. For example, there is this, right? You can see that the teeth, the general shape of the teeth, looks like this, right? However, it does not go till the back. Stops around 80% of the way, so that would be a good idea to, like, not do that, right? Not make it so that it ends at like the hundred percent mark, making it look like some fucking creepy dude you don't want to see. So now I probably won't go over teaching every single how to draw every single teeth in perspective, since for the most people, for the most artists that I know, they aren't really drawing every single teeth. So. Well, the artist, the art style isn't one where you have to draw every single teeth, so I'll just be going over how, how to draw teeth, like the normal humane way, right? Not the creepy kind. Pretty simple, just you can just round it off and, you know.
Now, as you're drawing the teeth, you know, the thickness will vary, right? Like if you look at this example over here or this example, right, the thickness decreases from like the molars, the the premolars and the canines, right? As as you go on drawing the teeth, right, the thickness will decrease from the back. Right? Which will result in a shape similar to this, making it a lot thinner from the back and a little thicker from thinner from the front, right? And a little thicker from the back. Right? Pretty much all I'm doing is just refining the shape we created. Which is pretty much all you need to do when it comes to drawing the teeth anyways. Unless you like drawing every single teeth, which is which has to be honest the same process, but no. Yeah, once you have this you can just start like making little dots in here and keep on doing that. Or you can add, or you can actually draw teeth. So like, okay, like I'll just draw teeth so it's easier to like visualize. There you go. One molar. Two molars. Three molar, three molar, and then there's the canine. Yeah, cool. So this is the canine. After that is the canine, right? The canine is a lot sharper since it's for like. Cutting and grinding, right? It's a lot sharper, as you, as, as you can see. After that, you will. It's pretty much the same over here, too. Just copy this and paste it to, you know, save time. Oh wow, okay, this will not. I guess we'll have to draw him. Yeah, there you go. There are four incisors in the top and the bottom. It's pretty much the same for the top and the bottom. There you go, full set of teeth. It's not really detailed, it's just a little sketchy, but you know, as long as you get the message through, right? So, for example, right? Let's see, for example. See. 
کہ ہم مار Okay, I guess any mount, any face will do. I'll just draw a face so it's easier to visualize it. Yes, it will be hella creepy because, you know, I want to show every single teeth, so. There you go. I know, yes, I know it is creepy as fuck. It's pretty much the same when it comes to uh, the front teeth, right? Start at the back of the head. But from the, for the bottom teeth, you have to show it. In the back, right? Like that. So, give me a second. I'll make the top rocket bigger. It's too small. Similarly, when you're like drawing the teeth, the bottom row of the teeth, right? As you learn, we will make it a little thinner from the back and, you know, thick, a lot thicker from the back and thinner from the front. And make sure, like, there's a little gap over here. It looks like it's behind the teeth, right? Or if you like, there's someone screaming or pretty much anything, right? You can also draw the teeth in this way. I'm not drawing every single teeth because it will take me ages, but I'm just trying to show you how you will place the teeth, right? Now, the teeth will, you have to also show that the teeth are like going behind. Similarly, the lips will obviously fold with the teeth. You know, you can draw your usual way. You can draw a little slide, but it shows like some creepy dude. There you go. So drawing the teeth is pretty pretty simple to be honest, as long as you know how to start drawing the teeth, right? As long as you know the basic shape of the teeth, drawing the teeth is, to be honest, very easy. Just remember to start with a weird, like, distorted C shape, and after that you can just build upon it. Pretty simple, right? Like this. Something no, I fucked it up. 
here. Yeah, okay. something similar to this, and it's the same for the top row too. If you like, suppose you're drawing the top teeth, that will the top row of somebody's teeth, right? Like, suppose it's like that. And apply like an expression where you will only see a little of the top bottom teeth and a lot more of the bottom teeth and a lot more of the top teeth, right? Pretty much the same, just start that and there you go. We had distorted C, start the bottom, and since they're a bit outwards, you now make sure to like draw them a bit outwards too. Or move straight teeth out, right? There you go. Yeah, let's move on to the ears. Drawing the ears is pretty simple too. It's pretty much the same as drawing the head. You start with a box and after that you build upon it. Right? Let me show you. Give me a second. Oh yeah, by the way, like, when you're drawing the ears, remember this, right? That the ears are not flat with the surface. Suppose it's a thing, right? When, let's suppose it's somebody looking over here, right? Remember that the ears are a bit slanted. That. They are not, you know. Right next to the head. In the sense that they're not... They're not kissing the head, okay? If that makes sense. They're a little angled. Drawing the ear is pretty simple from the... It's the same process when it comes to drawing... When it comes to drawing the ears, it's pretty much the same process. Like... Drawing it head-on or drawing it from the sides. Pretty much the same process, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna start with drawing the ear at the front and I'll I like head on and after that I will also show you how to draw the face how to draw the ears at different angles. There you go. Draw a box and the structure is pretty easy to be honest. We'll start with like an arch on one side, on like around two thirds, on like around one third of the way. We'll start an arch over here. And we'll straight take it. To the bottom, go there. A shape similar to this, right? Like a weird bean shape, basically. After this, we are just gonna we are just gonna draw another soldier. And make sure it is like close to the edge of the first circle. Then we'll just take out a small tail and you know like basically draw draw the letter nine, right? The number nine is pretty much the same as that. After that you can go with Curve the first bigger curve and goes like this. And stop it like around the midpoint of the, the letter. Right? 
I'll just make sure that it's you know like smooth and circular so it's not it's not extremely angular since you know human ears aren't exactly known to be extremely angular but if that's your art style go for it right like similarly like oh it's a bit more angular over here and over here I like making things a little more angular so it's easy for me to understand right uh, after you've after done this, right, it's pretty much the same. You draw, it's just same as drawing a C, a C curve and another line. Like, give me a second. Uh, yeah, this will join with this. And the other line, right? To make an inverted hoop over here, it'll simply it'll portray out this. By the way, the anti helix this way, this side always portrays outside the main view. Unless you know, like ears are really weird, so it doesn't really it doesn't really a problem if you when you're drawing the ear and it's a little distorted, right? No problem at all. There you go. And we will just draw the... We will just draw the W over here. It's a V. Yeah, it's not really a W, it's more of a V shape. To find the, what do you call it? Oh, it's written over here, dude, where is this? I forgot. I need to, I need to get back at drawing anatomy and stuff. I feel, I'm getting a little rusty at it. For example, this one ear. Okay, give me a second. I'll just. Most of the time, you will not be drawing the ear face on, right? So. In those substance, in those circumstances, maybe. Just start with with the buff, similar to pretty much everything we do. Box your way to success. The same process over here too. No, we start around this point and on this mark. Yeah. You must say you will curve it inwards and like that. Alright, we'll just we'll do the same as we did before. However, this time since it's angled right, as you said, it won't be as circular as this, right? It won't be as circular as this. So it will be more of an oval shape. I'll draw a circle and like later stretch it out using transform tool. Yeah, it'll be similar to this. There you go. Curve inwards. Erase this. We'll draw the letter nine again.
after that we will do the same as we did over here you know we drew a little right but so we will do pretty much the same over here Remember how I see that the anti helix portrays outwards? Yeah, we will see that over here. There you go. Similar to this. After that, the same speed inverted V shape. After that we can just erase this and like curl it out a bit to make it look like a normal leaf. Also like remember that this is not extremely circular. I would, I would say that the ear is circular but it is not extremely circular right? So yeah. Make this a little more pretty. Now, similarly, if we're like drawing the ear completely from the side, right? Like, let's suppose that the person is facing towards you, right? Towards you, right? The ear will lie flat. So, it'll be the same as before. However, this will be just a lot more, you know, skewed. Of course, of course. Damn. It's pretty much the same again, like the helix will go like that. Similarly, like we will draw a skew, we will draw a circle over here and Notice how like as you're drawing the in different angles the circle is being more and more skewed. Make sure you remember that. Since you know it's pretty important when you're drawing drawing the ear to you know like not mess up the whole inside of the ear. I mean looks weird, right? So Got to learn how to do it properly if you are gonna do it. Yeah. Similarly, we'll just erase it over here, make a nine. And there you go, we'll add the anti helix. This time the anti helix will portray a lot more outwards since you know we're looking at it from the side. It will be a good idea to like start, you know, like practicing how to do this from photo references. So, yeah, it will be a good idea to do that. I have a few on my own. Pinterest and stuff if you want to check that out go ahead I'll leave a link to that below but but there's only like three picks I think so so I think it'll be a better idea to like 
look those up on your own but so from personal experience it's pretty easy to find texts of years and stuff on Pinterest to study from there we go uh, the antihelix has like a little bend to it in the middle so I can remember that there you go there you go lobe the anti-helix, the helix, and the trivus. That's pretty much there is all there is to the year. It's pretty simple, but you know you won't really learn it until you practice it on your own. I think it'll be a good idea for you to like look at this video, or you know, like look at look at a tutorial first and then try. Try it out and see if it works for yourself, right? Since I mean there are different different methods to everything, right? At times you will see artists at times you will see something work for one artist and see something not work for another. The same thing work for another, which is well, which is kinda sad, but you know to humans it happens, so I'll just draw another view and wrap this up and yeah this time I won't really be going through every single step of it to like show you all how easy it is once you get the hang of it right After you get the hang of it, you don't really need to go through all the steps. You can just, you know, do it. Okay. I'm gonna put that there. That. Also remember that when you're drawing the ear, like let's suppose you're drawing the back of a head, right? Someone from behind, right? Let's suppose this is a head. If you're drawing the ear like this, like from the back, right? Remember that the ear isn't since it's you know like angled a bit outwards, right? It is connected like that, like so. There you go. Done. Similarly, you will still see the tragus. Sorry, not the tragus, the anti helix portraying outwards. It's usually when you're like drawing the ear from the back, it is similar to this. That. And that wraps up, wraps up the ears, I guess. Let's go. The eyes. Drawing the eyes is now pretty simple. It's pretty much the same as everything. We start with the box and add two triangles on the side, or we can start with the parallelogram. I'll show you how to do both, and you can, you know, experiment for yourself as to what works best for you. You get the, you get the hang of it after a while, so it's pretty easy to draw the eyes. Remember, when drawing the eyes, remember that the eye is technically just a ball, right? Like that. So, at, there will be times, you know, 
when did stuff like this helps you a lot when you're drawing it in the 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 face and the eyes in different angles. There you go. Let's draw a box with triangles. Pretty much with triangles, try to make sure that the triangles are equal in size. And after that, it's pretty much pretty much simple. It's pretty easy, right? Using this guide, you can draw pretty much any eye, I'd say, but for like eyes that are, you know, a bit a lot more, you know, thinner like this, the the parallelogram method might work better. So for the eyes, I think it it will just be a good idea to like look up references and study them. Like different type of eyes, like it depends on what you're trying to do, right? Like if you're trying to go for animal anime style, or if you're trying to go for a more realistic style. The the box and triangle method works best for like anime and stuff. And when you're drawing the eyes, it's pretty it's pretty much the same. You just have to follow. The structure of the box, right? There you go. After that, you can just I know you can draw the eye however you want, but make sure to not draw the eye like this since this isn't really natural. The iris is pretty damn big, so. And a rest in like a normal position, right? Like the iris will be around here, that, or it will be around here, it depends. But usually it's around this point. And if you're drawing like a shocked expression, it will be a lot more clear. But the chances of you seeing the whole eye is pretty low. And you can, but like if your character is going through something devastating devastating as fuck you can try that but normally you won't really look at it also like this dot thing right yeah I forgot the name for a sock but let's suppose this is iris right this dot thing is in is inside over here it's not it won't really look like that it will look a bit more inside of the, the pupil yeah the pupil there you go now you can use this, the same method when it comes to drawing the eyes in different angles right like pretty much the same as we did when it comes to construction, when we did uh, the teeth, it's, the construction is pretty much the same. Let's start with like a dis. Let's start with a curved rectangle and split it like so. Remember that the distance between two eyes is around the same as one eye right meaning like if you're drawing a face right suppose you're drawing the face let's suppose this is a nose this is another eye the distance between those two eyes will be equivalent to another eye so that helps a lot when you're like trying to draw things in perspective so yeah make this thing a little bigger and yeah just add triangles Triangles, 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 and go at it. Similarly, over here too.
I think I drew this on the wrong layer, but you know. I guess you can't really go that far, so it does what it does. Like that, make it a little larger. There we go. Like that, or yeah, you can try this box approach, or you can go for the parallelogram approach. Uh, this one. This this approach makes it a lot easier if you're drawing like eyes that are much more thinner, right? Like that, like so. You can try the same method with with the parallelogram thing too. Let me draw it in a different way. After that, you know, the nose will be around there. Something like that. Now it's like, as we saw, the eyes are pretty easy to draw once you get the hang of them. And then it's just, it's just about you drawing the eyes by you know like learning about the basic shape and practice right now when it comes to like drawing the hair right drawing the hair is pretty simple but i don't really be going that over drawing the hair that, that much since you know it's not really gonna help you in the sense that Everybody draws hairs differently. Some some characters don't even have hairs, and it's much more easier to visualize the head without the hair. But I decided to add this section as a cause. I decided to add this section because why not? So I'll just copy the same head from here since it's too much work to draw the head. So Which I'm lazy. So there's that. There you go. Structure of the head. Like that. Let's make it a lot darker and like decrease our opacity. I'll just do one of these so you know we you all can get the idea. It's pretty much the same as we it's pretty easy. Yeah. It's the same, yeah, the construction is the same as we went over last time, you know. These are the eyes, this is the mouth section, and this is the hairline. This time we will actually be doing something with the hairline. When it comes to drawing the head, it's pretty easy to, drawing the hair, it's pretty easy. You just start with the basic shape and, you know, like build up on it, so. Let's, mm, let's see, let's let's try starter hair, like similar to this. Drawing the hair is pretty, pretty easy, just find, you can just find your hairline and, you know, like build up on it, right? This is your hairline, and after that you can just go over the basic shape of the head here.
There you go. Just draw a basic shape of it. And we can start refining it after that. And now it says we can do, oh god, I hate this software. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. Pretty simple, you know, we just go over it, go over the shape and well, personally for me, I just hope for the best, it's, I'm not really some kind of guru when it comes to drawing the hair, I mean typical stuff like that, so. Oh, I think that's, that, that's pretty obvious right now as is. Personally, I prefer drawing hair that's a bit more angular, so. Drawing the hair is pretty simple, it just takes way too long. Something like that, right? Stuff like that. And now we will move on to the fun part, right? Actually drawing the face in different angles. Now drawing the face in different angles is as we say as we went over it's pretty easy. We start with a box and you know build upon it. I'll I'll go through all the different steps and yeah. Hope it helps, right? Let's see. Uh, oh yeah. By the way, I'll be the expressions I'll be drawing will be a bit exaggerated, like shown over here, because I wanna show how I'm going to angle the teeth in pretty much every pose, right? So I want that. I want to make that easier for you all. So I will make them a bit exaggerated. However, if if when we are like making more of a neutral pose it'll it'll be the same however the jaw will just be raised a bit a bit upwards and yeah after that it'll just be like that so similar to that it'll just be you know the jaw will move upwards and you know a neutral expression right so yeah it's pretty much the same for pretty much every angle for the head as we went over when drawing the head from the top. You know, it's pretty easy. You won't really see anything other than the eyes. No, sorry, other than nose and whatnot when you're drawing from the top. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Also, make sure that make sure that you remember that the head is of course not a spherical shape right it's shaped more like this from the top that's how i raise the original 
circle we started with. Um, and yeah, it's similar to this, but it's a bit more flattened. So yeah, I'm gonna, you know, squish it a bit. So yeah, it looks like a normal head. Also, it's a, li it's a little rounder from the edges, like not super round, but a little round. Right? Like that. Something like that. After that, the ears are just positioned over here. Again, we will just start with the box, but however, since we are like just drawing from the top, right? We won't really need to draw all the things that are below. So, it'll be something similar to this for if you're drawing the head from the top, okay? The ears will be positioned like so. There you go. Oh god, so maybe Yeah, like that. And similarly you from the top you'll only really see the nose. So for the nose like from the top view, right, you won't really need to draw a whole triangle. You can just simply like draw a small rectangle, show the wings a little. And yeah, and that like that. Uh, like that. Yeah, these I'm drawing the side planes now, so it's like easier for you all to visualize this. But chances are you won't really see much of the side planes either. Yeah, I mean, it's Let's make it a lot tenor so it's like easier. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, right. Just draw it like that. If you if you're just going to draw the head from the top, I don't think there will be a pro there will be any problem if you like doing using tools like symmetry because you know it's pretty symmetrical from the top, right? But in reality, I don't think it'll be a good idea for anybody to do, to draw the head with symmetry. Unless it's like from really specific angles like here, but it is not a good idea to draw symmetry, to draw heads using symmetry since, well, heads aren't really symmetrical, right? You can try, you can start look, you can look up references for this too if you want to study these. Obviously, you will have to look up references since... Well, you can't really, you know, you can't really learn art just from a single tutorial. So, yeah, expecting that is just, yeah, it's just not gonna happen, right? Even if you do watch this tutorial, you just, you will obviously have to practice this a lot of times before you even, you know, get at, at the stage where you can draw head at different angles like these. Look at my second like these. Head from the top is pretty simple, right? It's just, you know, you can start with a box, but personally, I'd just say this, I'll, I'll recommend you to start with, with a circle, cut it, a, cut a little from the sides and yeah, even it out. So it looks humane, right? And you should be fine. Yeah. This is obviously not rendered, right? After that, you will obviously have to render the ears. The ears will be pretty easy. Let me show you. I'll just do it for you all. I'll just do one ear for you all since, you know, I'm trying to save time over here. So, yeah. The tutorial is already around an hour, so around an hour and 20 minutes or something like that. So, I don't really, yeah, I don't really want to take your whole day up. So, over here, the you you will just join in like that, right? Like that. And from the sides, obviously, it will be something. Give me a second. It will be like this. Yeah, this is like very not properly drawn. Give me a second. 
Okay, let, let's just, I'll just use a different layer so it's like easier for me to draw it. So I'm not really struggling with this thing. It's, it's pretty easy, but like, let's suppose, right? Like, you're drawing it like that. The ear, right? Now, this this is the helix. Now, remember that the anti-helix portrait is outwards, right? So, when drawing the anti-helix, it will be something like this. It will, like, portray, it portrays out quite a lot, like, actually. Obviously, ears are a bit, you know, ears are something that they're different for everybody, so chances are the ear arm drawing will obviously, you know, it not look the same as as a person as another person's ears since, you know, ears can be I'd say ears can be very forgiven giving, to be honest. Like since oh, there is a lot you can do a lot, right? Like it's the same it's not the same shape for everybody and it's very different. Or pretty much everyone. Yeah, something like that, and you can, you know, obviously shorten this thing a bit since you know it's a little too big. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, see, it'll be a lot slant, you know, a bit thicker from over here, but you get the point. be like that yeah similarly we will just copy this flip it vertically so it makes my life easier but since you know flip sorry flip horizontally but yeah similarly here and you know we can just after that we can just complete this the head Since, oh yeah, the, this is the glabella, right? The glabella, as we, I think I discussed this, that the glabella acts as a shift in, in planes, right? So, obviously the eye bone or like the top of the eye sockets, right? They portray a little outwards and I'm not exactly, you know, and this, don't really, f what do you call it? Look, you look, we okay. I don't know how to call it, right? I've got no clue what to call it. Whatever it is, it is something like that. So, yeah, no. Horizontal. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, you know, say this. There we go. Down. Like this. And after that, there's just a nose. You can. From the top, the nose looks pretty normal. It's just like a cylinder. looks just like a cylinder. Similar to a certain cylinder, but just like rounded off. And has weird like wing, wing thingies at the side. So. Yeah. You won't really see the eyes or anything. If you're when you're draw, when drawing from the top, yeah, chances of you seeing the eyes are uh, well, you might, but it's like on extremely specific angles, right? Normally, you don't you don't really see 
does when you're hearing the head from this kind of angle. There you go. Oh yeah, I made the hair a bit, a bit bigger since it looks a little squished, so. That's something similar to that, obviously it looks a little weird, but. That's probably just cause I'm not spending enough time on it, but yeah. Something like that. Now, however, if you like, okay, give me, oh no, there you go, okay, if you're like, let's suppose you're drawing the head from like, looking at the right, right, the process is pretty much the same as you learned, with like, construction, when you were learning construction and anatomy of the head, right, the process is pretty much the same, right, you start with a box, and this time, well, the box faces us, so. Since it's straight to the right, right? The box will face us. And we'll, we'll be a little wide, to be honest. Since we need enough space for the cranium of the head. Now, uh, since give me a second, I'll just make this line a little straighter so it looks odd. Now, since you're drawing from the side, there isn't really a reason for me to like draw draw the back back side of the head. So I'll just start start off with this with the circle right here drawing circles are so hard there you go make sure the circle is up a little wide so since we need space for the cranium of the head right we need the circle to be a little Kind of wide, I'd say. Especially since we like drawing the head from the side, right? You will see the whole side of the head around this way. After that, it's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same as we learned. Like, the next, what we will do is we'll, we'll draw another circle, like done over here. However, we'll make sure that the circle follows the first circle in the sense that the curve of the circle follows the curve of the first circle. And well, obviously, since it's, it's the whole side of the head, we will well, make it pretty big. Personally, I have to like adjust circles like this since I don't really have a display tablet and it's kind of annoying but yeah i have to adjust them like this since it's kind of, i'm not i'm not exactly that used to using my shoulder for everything so yeah i'm still practicing about it when it comes to that since drawing with the shoulder feels really unnatural but and well i have exams right now so i don't really want to sprain my shoulder or anything like that and like regret it regret it right in my exam right so yeah similarly we'll just split this thing and half yeah and this will be obviously a little flattened out after we have drawn the second circle feel free to flat out Add this thing a little. 
until the face a little, follow this direction. So the midline, right, it will be, um, this is pretty big this time since so the circle is pretty big. So there's um, this and this. Yeah, at least this big. Give me a second, I'll just make sure that it lies inside this box, right? You only need a box to like get the sense of the perspective of the head. After that, you can well, once you have the sense of the sense for the perspective of the head, you can well do anything, right? Let's draw this this character with like a neutral with like a neutral straight, right? Where with his lips closed. I'll draw the next with like a more of an exaggerated expression, so yeah. After that it's pretty much the same as we have done, right? This will be a curve, this will be another curve indicating this indicates the end of the nose. The nose ends over here. This is the top of the eyes. The eyes are like... The eyes are essentially half the size of a nose. So let's suppose if your eye is this big, right? The nose will be twice big. Well, well like, will be twice that, right? Suppose the eyes are this big, right? The nose will go equal, the equal distance, right? Over here, like that. So keep that in mind since like this is not not technically the the nose line this is this will just help me figure out where the nose line is similarly after that you can well, just you can just draw the jaw the jaw is pretty simple too is you just slowly start from from the cross in the middle and yeah connect it Uh, just like so. Uh, I'll just you know liquefy it a little so to make feel free feel free to like use liquefy to make sure like your whole character is in proportion since it helps a lot. Yeah, by the way, if you haven't noticed, this is like. The next day, since yeah, you might have noticed like a weird cut and like a second ago. Yeah, this is the next day. I got like pretty late yesterday, so yeah. Well, it is pretty late now too, but I have time today. So. Uh, yeah. Similarly, for the year, as we know, like the year, like. The year curves outwards a little, right? So, similarly, we will curve it out a little over here, too. And thus, we will, well, first, we will just start with the box, right? And after that, we will like pattern it up a little bit. We'll be pattern. Yeah, we technically don't really need to. Yeah, we technically don't really need to since... Oh, it's... It's a single plane. Right, it's facing it. So, yeah, yeah, we don't really need to do that. There you go. Because you can just start with a box. Wait, it's gonna be a little small. Yeah, there you go. Not too wide since, you know, we don't really want to make the year look that unnatural, so... Similarly, this uh, you can start to help your to help like guide your whole sketching process, right? You can try adding a curve over here, which will like indicate the cheek. Which will help you indicate where like remember where the cheek is, so you can place everything more accurately, right? 
I have a vendor job at the center of the field. It's more like elongated, so yeah. There you go. There you go, it looks humane. It looks humane now. For the eyes, you know, just just draw a straight line down the down here to find where the eye will start. And as for where it ends, it ends around here. The you see the circle behind this? Yeah, it just ends there. You can like draw a straight line over there too. Make sure it's straight. There you go. As for the nose, it's pretty simple to use. You can just start. Well, first let's go with the proportions, then we can do the right. Okay, this is the eyes will lie. Right, this is the eyes, and then I'll turn it out. So there you go. This is where the eyes will lie, and. After that, as for like the nose and everything, it's pretty easy to figure out where the nose is. Simply just remember this this line we drew. Yeah, this will come in handy now. Basically, the distance between this this line and the bottom is where is pretty much like what do you call it? Your mouth, right? Just and the distance between these two is your top lip. And the distance between, well, the mouth and the chin is your bottom lip. Similarly, if you divide it even further, you'll find the chin. You know, like how some people have a chin that, like, more of a ball-like chin, I'd say. You know, that's, that's, a, that's how you find where you have to place that. Similarly, if you divide the area between the top lip and the nose over here into, you will find where the nose should end, which is right here. Right here. For the nose, pretty easy as we all went went over it. Just we're just going to draw a circle, well, a triangle. Sorry. And circle below. How about, in my opinion, it's more easier to draw the nose if you like, if you just add a line right here to, which will like help you, help you make sure that everything is according to proportions, right? You can just draw a diagonal line right here and follow the line for lips and everything else, right? Like. Give a second, like this. Draw the line over here, and bam. There's the nose. Yep, there's the nose. No, no, we can actually portray this nose a little more outwards if you want. So, you know, we get the... Remember the general shape. After that, you can uh, draw the ball, and... Well, you can draw you can draw the wing too, but I don't really wanna make this too messy, so yeah, I'll just stick it stick with it how it is. After that it like portrait that way, the lips and everything. Like yeah, let's we have a go with that when we are doing actually like drawing the head, right? Let's do that one. Back. As for the head, like remember hmm. Okay, let's start with the year first and like build up it and so it's easier to figure out. Well, you can draw the whole skull first too. I prefer drawing the ear first. So. Similar to how we all we have always drawn it so far. We will just curve it down and down, up, down, curve it in a little and like that. 
and make sure to like feel free to make ears a little angular since so well, i'd say they're they are one of the most angular things a person has in their body right? in my opinion i find ears very cool similarly as you went over it right just draw a circle inside this Make sure it's kind of big since you know we are drawing it from completely and we're drawing it as if it's completely in front of us right so make it a little big and just rotate that in and close in the middle uh, give me a second there you go Now similarly, we'll just draw an eye over here. And after that, after we've drawn the whole nine structure, we can just erase it from the sphere. We don't really need it anymore. Similarly, we can also erase this if we want. And we can, after that, the uh, loop connects like this. And yeah, like that. And it's just like this. One curve, second curve. There you go. And you can curve that in. And for for the Gregus, it's the same. It's a pretty easy shape, right? It's like. A wave out and a wave in, right? A wave out and a wave in. There you go. There you go. I refine it a little, so it's more easier to like understand, right? There you go. There you. Go. Don't really need to rotate it, but you can well place it a little further and a little. The ear, the ear usually lies a little above this line. The helix usually usually goes over this line. Only a little, only a touch. After now, right after I've done this, I'll I'll go draw the head. Similarly, it's the head is a little flat from this side, right, from the parietal bone area, so make it a little, a, a really, just make it flat, right, just a tiny bit, and we can go forward with that, and similarly, we'll go in, and a little straight up from here, where the forehead lies. Basically creating this kind of sh this kind of shape. After that's pretty easy, right? You have the nose. Before we start drawing the nose, remember that well we have the glabella, right? The glabella obviously like goes inwards a little. So you can you can draw a little arch inwards, very very slight inwards, and then there's outwards. Obviously. How uh, inward this thing, the glabella goes, depends on well, the person, right? It goes a little inwards, and yeah, after that, you can just pull that out. There you go. And Yeah, since we're drawing like a neutral, neutral face, we will well the the face goes a little inwards below the below your nose. You you can probably like just look at yourself and figure it out. It's pretty easy. After that, we will well draw the lips right.
There you go. Oh god, that looks creepy as fuck. I mean, I'm gonna just make this a little more humane, right? After that, you know, the chin goes like that. Looks a lot creepy right now, but Trust me, it'll look alright once, you know. Because it's, personally, I think, yeah, the chin is a bit too long. Yeah, I'll just fix it. I'll fix it in the end. After that, just draw the eyes, you know. The drawing the eyes from the side is pretty simple, too. You just draw a V shape and, like, I don't know, draw, like, the eyes from the side. Yeah, the eyeball will be shaped more like that. Similarly, there's a wrinkle in, mo in humans, right? Or I guess it's... I think as for wrinkles and stuff, you will learn that as you move on with the journey, right? So, yeah, don't really worry about that. There's not really a need for you to worry about that. I'll just make, I'll just make, I'll just squish it down a little. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so it looks humane, right? Now, sorry if you guys heard make a sound, that was my mom disappointed. Now she's talking to my aunt. Yeah, they yeah, they both talk like twenty four seven since I leave me. Yeah, this is a bit too no. Yeah. There you go. It looks a bit, it looks more natural when you like draw the neck and everything. So, yeah, similarly, you can draw and erase the spot. Faces oftentimes look really fucking weird, to be honest, without the neck. So, yeah, it's a good practice to make sure that you draw the neck too. Since, well, yeah, they look like that, which you just saw. Basically, it's creepy. It's creepy. Yeah. Fucking insane. After, after that, obviously, there is like the brows. To lie on a top of the glabella. I'm gonna fix it a little bigger so it's easier to like differentiate, differentiate right? There you go. Okay, maybe I won't, but yeah. The eye can position a little below like this. Mm -hmm. 
and they can like obviously make this a little low and after that you can add the make sure like it's a little you know it's, it's it looks like it's below inside the eyes right then so like we discussed right the eye the eyeball well, obviously a circle right but as for the iris um and the pupil right they are something like that from the side and like there's a layer in front of them so yeah like right in front of them so th that's a lens by the way but there's a layer in front of them so it's not a good idea to draw the eye iris like that make sure that it's always a little inwards and dips inside if you want it to look humane but you know you can it depends on your character right or you can add a little ring some wrinkles so it looks normal right yeah you should be good yeah similarly i'll, I'll draw this plane so it's easier to like visualize the, the nose like how it like rotates and everything but yeah mm -hmm. I'll just draw the I think I'll just draw the eye again and you know it looks really weird. There you go. Okay, give me a second. I'll just draw it naturally. Like how it is. Instead of a uh, little animated eye, I'll just draw an actual eye. There you go. The eyebrows will be thicker from like the back, so yeah, you can leave the leave the ones that are a little you know near it. and you can like draw the eyes like that. Let's say I need to squish this more. So it looks looks normal. Mm, give me a second. I'll just draw the other one, so it's easier to like visualize with. Yeah, this is better. He looks traumatized, but he he suffered for our sins. There you go. Yeah, he looks a lot a lot better now. I'm not giving him here, since well, and this guy will look really weird if we give him here. But yeah, there's that, and there's also an. The fact that I want you guys to be able to like visualize the character better. So like the cranium and everything better. So you know it's easier for you all to know how big the cranium is actually. To be honest, if I'm gonna be honest, it's a little even it's even a little bigger than this. I'll just stretch it out for you all. It's a little it's a little wider than this by the way. Even wider. It's, in, it's insane how big the cranium is. It's like I mean like no we never really realize how big it is until you know we start like drawing it, right? It's insane how big the cranium is. It's like huge. Yeah, like that. 
it's, well, it's more of an oval shape, right? So, yeah. yeah. I remember, like, well, this is the whole side of the head, but it gives it more structure. If you just draw a line like this, going over it. Well, remember how we, like, studied on the bones? A second ago, yeah, that helps. It helps you separate. This is a this is a zygomatic line, right? This is where like the zygomatic thickness. So it helps you like separate that area with the area side, and it looks really nice if you define it. I'll just make this line a little thinner, so you know it doesn't really mess with it with your vision there you go after that we'll similarly oftentimes you you'll find a shadow over here right more, sorry, a highlight over here. Yeah, that's a zygomatic bone, or like the cheekbone. And I'll highlight this a little, like some lines. All that will look this guy look really. It'll make this guy look extremely weak and everything, but you know, just so you see, you just go like out. over here. Oftentimes, you will find a highlight over here. All right. I'll just shade this in a little. Mandible is like, goes a little inside from here. So yeah, tell the shadow from like the middle. Similarly, we can obviously bring this wrinkle outwards too, and like this kind of line. Well, the small line is more over here. There you go. Well, it's probably making him look a little creepy, but just so it's easy to visualize. So. Like I said, it will be a really good idea if you study the planes of the head. There you go. Something like that, right? The planes shift from here to here and to the back. Similarly, they go inside over here, like that. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Now, let's try. Let's try drawing. Give me a second. I'll make the construction a little smaller too so it matches a little more right there you go similarly if you let's suppose you're drawing one third right one third of the head oh give me a second i'll make a box for this too since you know we are going for more of a box theme for everything we learn today so yeah i'll make this a box too let's suppose you're going for like a one a one third of the head, right? Oh, uh, well, something similar to that, right? Yeah, let me see. I'll just make this line a bit straighter. Yep, there you go. Still not straight. There you go. Similarly, right? If you're like drawing the head from now this time i'll like draw expressions that are a little more exaggerated so you know we can see the teeth and everything but let's suppose you're looking at the head from here or like 
from an angle, right? Let's go with this one this time. It's pretty. This is the same process for everything again. I'll increase the opacity a little, so it's easier for you to see this. Yeah. Yeah, cool. let's suppose we have a head looking over this angle, right? Now, the process is pretty much the same as we just went over, however, we will be drawing two sides this time, right? Let's do this. Similarly, we will again start both with a circle, right? There you go. And after we have drawn a circle, we will well, make it a lot larger. Remember, since we're drawing over here, we will need a, little, a lot of the circle well, in the side planes. Right? We can try rotating it, making just making sure like it stays proportionate, right? And as you can think of the box as different planes of the head, right? This is the front plane, the top plane, the side plane. Oh, there you go. And now this, you know, I'm gonna round it off a little, so it's easier for. Oh, it's satisfying for everybody to look at, since well, we need perfect circles are always satisfying to look at, so. I mean, imagine a perfect circle that isn't satisfying to look at. That's a sad. There you go. It's a little. It's not the best, but yeah, it does the job. Similarly, we will again like draw another circle, like this, but, and we will make this quite large, big, big circle, like that. And well, since as you went over, like once the second circle is done, you don't really need the first. Technically, when you're like drawing the face from the front, right? Let's suppose. Okay, give me a second. I'll I'll sh I'll show you what I mean. Let's suppose you're drawing the face from the front. You draw a circle, and well, you split it in the middle. And after that, you draw the chin and well, the cheek. This is obviously a very fun. This is insanely rough, but just to show you all, uh, from the size of the head, it's flattened. Since, well, there's a circle on both sides of the head. And, well, you will draw according to it, according to that. So. Now, similarly, it's the same proportions, but yeah, it's just on both sides. Similarly, there will be, well, there the ears will be like that. The ears are on the same, uh, will be on the same, right? The same distance between here. So, you can add a ear here, you can add a ear here. And like the same lips, top lip, and nose, bottom lip, chest. Or that is just uh this is the neck. You don't really well technically you don't really need to learn how with a lot about the neck since all it's a cylinder, but just remember that the neck starts over here. Like right at the end of right at the end of this the mass rod and steroid process, right at the end. Not so easy. Similarly, we will make this a little flat too. So yeah, so flatter and the stick will make this a little flatter too. There. 
but technically, yeah, we'll just make this, let's just make this one, this one's in, yeah, we figured it out. After that, it's just same, the same process. Split the second circle in half, and yeah, take this line of it outwards to find the row line, and split it from like the top to find, to, well, to cross it out and show where the, he's looking at, right? Same distance from here to here, the distance from here to here right to here plus the distance from here to here right we'll multiply right so we will go a little more below uh, around this one yeah not more than this gen and roll those are the cheekbones are the cheeks similarly when you're drawing like jaw the jaw it's gonna be like like so it's gonna start really close close to this to the middle line and after that it'll like bend a little and just it goes pretty it goes in quite sharply so move forward curve and curve and in like that oh oh yeah we're drawing expressions that are a little exaggerated i forgot that yeah uh this time let's see we can this time well as we know when the mouth opens the lower jaw moves right so this time the jaw will go a little down curve and go even further yeah like that same with the with the jaw from the other Oh, this time, like remember, we, we remember the original length. So, and you, I'll just mark that down because, well, this is this is more like a trust place. So, yeah. Similarly, this will make another curve right here. Distance, middle is the lip. Well, technically, now it's below, right? So it's below. The nose will just start over here, and you will see the top lip over here. We'll just spread it in like two tips. Two thirds. Like that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same after that. It's just drawing the ear like that. That and this. There you go. After that, you can all just start drawing the head, right? Again, I'll start with like the eyes and I'll build up on it. Give me a second. We've been sitting for way too long. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we will start with the circle. This time, since well, it's in perspective, right? The circle wouldn't be as big. You can first start with the circle. You can do it later. It depends. I mean, it's more of a preference thing. So yeah, well, do whatever you like, right? Similarly, the spit go up. Round behind. Okay, okay, I think I'll need to make this a little bigger than this since you know it's a little too small. Yeah, there you go. Uh, up, find, up, behind. A 
only that we can just erase this and like draw the anti helix. And we will draw the weird wave shape. Do something like that. Now we should remember well this you will see a little point change over there too. Make this a little smaller, tilt it and yeah, there you go. So there. Just after that, well, again, remember how we started we drew the jaw, right? We'll do that again, I think so. It's fun. Like, look at, like, look at this girl, dude. Hell yeah. Well, obviously, it's way too exaggerated, if, well, as you know. So it's way more flat and kind of weird looking, but yeah. So this time we'll start with the jaw first. Oh, mm, okay. Let's not start with the jaw. Let's do this. Let's start with the cranium first, and we will go after the jaw a little later. Since so we're gonna draw the teeth this time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, y'all got to take good care of your teeth. I was watching like uh, the dentist the other day and oh hell, hell no dude, the kind of teeth this, that guy shows on the internet, like, or, like not him obviously, like, more like teeth by the people, oh god, it's, it's terrifying dude, like it's legit. Similarly, we will draw. Oh, we will draw the forehead, right? But this time, right? As for the eye on the far far side, right? Remember how it, how we well we just went through how the glabella like shift there's a shift in plane cause of the glabella, right? Oh, it's well there's that and cause of the shape of the zygomatic dome. The skull bends inwards from here. Well, not exactly the zygomatic bone, it's just how the, sh how the skull is shaped. So you can, it will go up a little, and after that, just down. It goes a little down. More, it makes like a really flattened V shape to like show where the eye is. And yeah, after that, there is like. After that, it's straight up the cheekbone, and yeah. I'm not gonna draw the whole jaw right now. After that, I'll just now I'll just draw the nose. Similarly, remember that well, the nose portrait is outward, right? There are instances where well, it will cover this eye a little, so we are going to do just that. You can try it, well, you can try messing with it. It's a pretty good idea to, like, well, know how to place the nose properly. So, since it's one of the landmarks of the human body, so it's kind of obvious that you have to learn it. Similarly, we have another landmark in the body, like, there's the T7. The C7 vertebrae, the cervical section, the last vertebrae in the, cer in the cervical section of your spinal cord. Basically, like, the sand bones in your neck and everything. Here's that. Which is, again, a very important line. 
it's well you should learn so I'll just I'll just go back to the construction and well let's give him eyes that are well, not exactly too big so yeah let's I'll just draw another cylinder and a rectangle over here and Join us with the other to make sure well, we match the perspective, and after that, I'll just get it like, like that. Uh, like so. Let's go ahead, like so. Uh, like so. Like so. Obviously, like. He will have to make this a lot smaller. This is way too big. Similarly, we will do the other side, but right now we will not do the other side. So, so once you draw the full star, it's pretty easy to figure out the other one. I might be the only person able to say this. Yeah. Pretty sure I'm the only, only artist saying this shit. Uh, yeah, I'll just make make it so that he's being like head on. I feel like drawing the face head on though. Yeah, you can. I'd say you can just copy the first eye to the second, but well, for time save for time saving for sake of time saving, but. Still, I would say it's a good idea to, you know, like, learn how to do both the eyes, like, similarly, right? Similarly, well, we have, we can, I'll just draw a triangle over here, and bam, 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 there we go. Well, we have a glabella over here, so, no. Starts from here and go up, round up, and in. So after that, we will just draw the nostrils or the wings. How oh, about this time, right? We won't really show the inside of the nose, I'll just darken it because, well, we're looking at, at it from upwards angle, so. Not really a use to like, you know, look at it, look at what's happening inside. So similarly, I'm gonna erase this line a little bit. So so it appears as if you know it's just like rotating. It's like well, it's not like a clear line, obviously. So just that. Similarly, I will draw the other eye. Make it a lot bigger and just clip it down over here. Clip it to here. Technically, the eye is all a little above, so. Oh, wrong. Wrong tool, wrong tool. Right now, I have like all my tools mapped out on like a numpad, so there are, there are times where, you know, they accidentally click a wrong key, so. I mapped, I mapped everything out to like, uh, one of the, you know, like a standard numpad, right? Since I mainly work in Photoshop, I'm pretty new in Curve Studio, so, oh, personally, I'd say it's pretty easy to learn Curve Studio, especially if you're from Photoshop. Oh, yeah, it's extremely easy to learn, learn Curve Studio. Okay, now, as for the top lip and the bottom lip, right, we will only go over, only draw stuff like the top lip. I'll just draw a top lip, go down, and make it as if he's screaming or something. Now I'll draw the chin. God, come on, look. 
Yeah, this is basic, it's basically way too cold over here. And yeah. It's kinda hard to like draw cons it's kinda hard to like what do you call it? Make straight lines or something like that since you know there are times where well your hand just doesn't really listen to you because it's way too it's seriously way too cold. I don't know about you guys, but at least for me, like, stuff like 4 degree temperature or anything is, like, deadly. At least, at least for me, since I really don't do good with cold. I hate, I hate the cold with a passion. Like, seriously, I hate the cold with a passion. I wish I didn't exist soon. I like my summers way more. Give me a second. Basic, yeah, I have to like wait every ten minutes or so because of like Cliff Studio's auto save stuff, auto save feature. Yeah, I know. At least for me, I think it's because like my PC is a bit old. It's probably because of that. I need to I seriously need to upgrade. That might be because of that since like yeah, it just lags the whole PC up every time it updates. Yeah, I'll just draw the another. Oh uh, no. I forgot to draw it. I hate that I forgot to draw it. Yeah, there it goes. And after that, you can just draw the feet. I'll make the seal make the same like structure over here to like show. Obviously, I'm not drawing all the teeth, but just enough, right? So it looks normal. So just as enough if we just draw, if we show the indication of some teeth, yeah, it looks enough. Looks normal. And well, our goal is to make sure that it looks normal, right? There's the tongue, and yeah. Yes, something like that. Again, like, just draw the neck and look a lot natural. So it doesn't really look the best, uh, but yeah, I'm doing these in like a hurry, so usually this usually I take a lot longer. I'll just obviously, I'll just again, I'll just go over it like, draw it like a uh, liquefy brush, and we'll make. Don't look a fight way too much, but a little just so it looks good, right? Uh, give me a second, I'll just remove this construction, the construction layer too. Similarly, well, see, we drew the eyes and everything a little too small, so. And we'll just add the neck. This is to like make sure that you know 
you guys remember everything? I by no means I'm an ex I'm an I'm an expert on faces, but I mean like yeah, it's pretty obvious but And then you know as long as it looks good it it, it will play, so yeah. As for making like actual screens and stuff, make sure you can obviously add a rank at these to like make it look a lot more exaggerated. It helps a lot. I mean, as long as we make them all as looking as fuck, right? It looks nice if they're not they're like cream or something. Like that. Oh yeah, remember to draw the eyebrow. Okay. Because it's weird, I forgot that. I forgot to draw that. Let's go. This remind. This was just reminded. Down. There you go. There go. it down a little so yeah and then make sure to like add the scope and remember the spot as well in the tool and well you can flatten this out a little inside inside the shape similarly just erase this Make sure it goes the next starts from the bottom. There you go. Oh god, wait. Just noticed. Make sure well the eye in front is well a lot bigger than the eye in like the back, so I'm gonna do that like in it like that. Yeah. There you go. Well, it's way too big now. It's a touch. There's also this there's the eyelid. There you go. Similarly, uh, give me a second. I'll just move the state to the side and yeah, got me. Select all these and move it to the center. Similarly, well. It's pretty easy, right? Like, as long as you 
know how to draw a good a good circle and like you know how to well draw a box, right? Similarly, well, if you're drawing it at if you're drawing a person from the front. As you just went through, it's, it's pretty simple. I won't really go in a lot of detail with this, or because it's pretty very simple. Just start with a circle. Start with the whole box, right? After that, you just draw a circle inside that. If I can draw a circle, it will help a lot. There you go. And well, you split it in half. And make sure you split it in half or on the sides too. Chin. Chin will be all around this length. So this length up here. This. There you go. The chin. And well. The cranium. Give me a second to... Yeah, there you go. Cranium and yeah, that and we'll... middle will be the brow line. After that, this is used to the other line. It's pretty much the same. However, this the circle is seriously ex are extremely flat. They're like so flat, this and it becomes a line, right? So, yeah, the middle of these is the lips. After that, the middle is the no, and the top lip. So, not that big, but this is the nose with no end. This is the top lip, this is the bottom lip, and the chin. Similarly, this is the hairline. And Drawing it from like one perspective is pretty. Oh, wait, I forgot. These are the E's. These all will be flat, so. There you go. These are the E's. The E's well will be flat, so it's just a single box. Similarly, if you like drawing the head from the. If you're like drawing the head as if it's looking at the top, it's again the same thing, right? You start with the box, however, this time I'm just gonna start with a circle, like similar to how we did over here, right? If you're drawing a head looking right this way, like at the top, okay, I know how to describe it, but yeah, it's basically it's something like this, right? So, yeah, I don't think you really need a box, but yeah, give me a second, I'll just draw some a box or something, it's so easy. After that, I just, you know, yeah. It helps to visualize the head in different angles if you, like, draw a box first and you can, like, up, add, like, a neck or something like that, like this. Construction is, well, again, the same, but, so, yeah, I won't really be going too much in detail. There's a circle, the second circle, well, I saw a second circle first. There you go. Second circle, enlarge it, well, make it, squish it down a little this time, and, yeah, there you go. Straight, top. And yeah, well, this and this is your ears, and your ears are like this, right? Over here, mm, give me a second, I'll just make this a little. Oh, that no, uh, I'll make this you know a bit bigger. So, I forgot, yeah, there you go. Down and here. Similarly, if this is a chin, right, it will connect down here and it will connect over here. This is like the side of the head, right? So the ear will be around the 
like this. Since so it's looking up, right? Uh, since it's looking like this above or over here, the ear will, will also tilt, right? It'll also tilt. The ear will also tilt. So it will be like this. Yeah, there you go. Again, it's the same thing, right? Like go below. So like that. Eyes, the chin, the mouth, the top of the nose, the bottom of the chin, and well, obviously, like you will see a little bit of the bottom chin. So I let's go over this one quickly, and yeah, let's wrap this tutorial up. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. Uh, construction is fine. Let's decrease the opacity of the box a bit. Head, go up and in. Up in this time, we're like drawing a neutral expression by the way. So, similarly, you go up and circles, so and this will be neck. And this will be the ears. Give me a second. Oh, yeah. Uh, this will trigger. Sorry, not the Tragus, uh, the Anti Helix. There you go. The loop, and well, there's the weird squiggly line thing, which is all the Tragus, right? And well, you can just open this thing up and go below. Oh, since so, it's looking like this upwards, right? So, skull will. Won't really the this time we will just go below with the neck. I mean give me a second of this like I'm just like I'm doing it with the starlight so it's like easier for you to visualize but it's obviously a little subtle it's a little subtle compared to all this, right? Hmm, okay, I'll just skip the Adam's apple since we, we don't really need it, so Yeah, there you go This time we'll remember there's a huge, there's quite a lot of space between like the mandible and neck So yeah, similarly, well these are the eyes And well, we will have the nose Technically, it's connected, so I'll draw the other one too. And this is like extremely quick and obviously not properly done, but. Just to like give you a little idea about this, right? Just so you know that well, you can always start with a uh, box, right? A box is the easiest shape to master for anybody, and well, it requires like zero effort. 
After that, there's just a little about the construction. We don't really exactly need to learn the whole anatomy of the head, per se. So, oh, obviously it helps, right? The anatomy is obviously important when it comes to learning, but that isn't really, well, I would also argue that it is necessary. Sorry about that, but when it comes to anatomy, the, the problem with anatomy is that it takes quite a lot of Quite a lot of time and dedication to learn anatomy. Like for me, I I would literally learn anatomy while I was at school. Like actually, I'd have my phone out and like be learning how to do it instead of you know studying. But yeah, that's that's me being dumb, right? Not a good idea, but yeah. So please do your studies, but. I'll just make him, I'll just make his eyes a little, you know, box-like, I'd say. Yeah, box-like. Oh, more cartoonish, I'd say. Yeah, more cartoonish. Yeah, better word. Come on, oh god, save. Yeah, there you go. Cartoonish. After that, so there is obviously the depth. And like, you only, well, technically only if you just draw like the bottom lip, it give you, it, get, it gives a sense of the top lip, but yeah, good idea to like, just very slight indication of it. Right. Uh, then there's a, there's a lot, but give me a second, I'll just make his cranium a bit bigger to make, to make this dude like Einstein or something like that. Well, technically, the human and skill, well, as we, as we discussed, is pretty damn big, so, yeah. Can't really make, we can't really have a human with that is squished as fuck forehead, but I remember that, please. Like, actually, like, I've, it happens a lot, right? Like, I saw video, I've seen videos by, like, Sam Desart and stuff, too, on this topic, right? Oftentimes, artists would just, I know, they would just make it so that the cranium doesn't exist, like, literally. It's, it's so, it's way too, it's, like, way too thin and weird, right? People forget, and people really forget to draw the cranium like the fuck. Yeah, don't be like those. Don't skip your responsibility. Be a chat. Embrace reality. Right? Even... Even if you can, like, uh, personally, I would recommend you, like, the f I would recommend that even if you can, if you are drawing, like, a picture where you can straight up just, just copy-paste the eye from one side of the head to the other, I would not recommend you to do that. Why? Well, well, sure, it, like, saves time and everything, and if you're going for that, please go ahead, but if you want to learn, oh, no, don't do that. Sure, sure, you may struggle for five minutes. But I think the struggle, that five minute struggle is way more worth it to you in the long run. And will essentially become a foundation, will become the foundation of your career. Yeah, it says the hob, yeah, it kind of says the hobbyist that fucking, yeah. yeah. So, at least I believe in it. It will become, so. Yeah. There you go. Depressed as fuck, dude. Looking above for salvation. Which he's never gonna receive, so he dies. Or something like that, I don't know. Yeah. Let me just make this a little low. There you go. Alright, how you doing? Mm, give me a second, I can. There you go. Well, since this is the last character we will be doing, 
why not give him here, right? Let's bless, let's bless this man. Let's bless this beautiful man. He has seen enough terror like this, and like fucking this dude. Like, oh god, look at this dude. This guy has seen enough terror. He needs, he needs happiness. So yeah, we will give him happiness. Let's give him. Let's give him nice, let's give him nice kid here. Let's draw the general shape, and yeah. There you go. Let's draw the shape, and we'll build up on it, right? I'd say, like, 90% of art is just... It's just shapes and and learning to build upon it, right? Essentially, it's just that. It's just that. There is nothing really too complicated when it comes to art, right? And then it's just you figuring it out, figuring out weird shapes and like just trying to make sense of a bunch of shapes that is thrown at you randomly, and you just get really good. And once you like get really good at like identifying those shapes. That's when you start getting good, right? Every year an artist like gets better at identifying particular shapes, right? And well, that translates into their career, right? Art is about is all about learning and relearning, right? Since well. There are things that I'm kind of good at, but, well, I practice <laughs> often. You'll find me oftentimes, like, just practicing things, even even though I'm good at it or something. Like, like for me, I love, I love playing with lighting, but, you know, oftentimes you'll still see me just play, just, like, doing more lighting and stuff like that. So, like, learn, learning more lighting, right? Just trying your best. Oh yeah, by the way, like learning a lot about lighting is a pretty good is a pretty good start if you like wanna hide your mistakes, right? Just learn about lighting. It just fucking you know, it just happens. People people just stop looking okay. People like seriously they just stop completely looking at your mistakes and they just they just like love how you did lighting or something like that. They just go stop looking at some of your mistakes. It helps a lot. For me, like obviously, I mean, the every artwork you ever cre you will ever create in life will obviously have a fuck ton of mistakes and well, overcoming them and well being content with that is normal, right? So you just get used to it. You're used to it, right? Nothing wrong with making mistakes as long as you learn from them. In an artist's career, I mean, we're all artists, right? In your career and in my career, I will make a lot of mistakes and you will make a lot of mistakes. And it's completely normal, right? And then, you know, it's our own journey, Every and everyone's journey is different, right? So, just remember, you know, to have fun, and, well, to never stop creating, right? Because, well, creating is what creates us artists, right? And just remember that you're not the only one that's, like, that's stuck in this weird war of art, right? You're not the only one that's stuck with stuck with like insane expectations. In a sense like I mean nowadays everybody has to learn a fuck lot, right? Like everybody is expected to have at least sixty sixty like things they have to be amazing at before they even think about being hired, right? Like 
like I was applying to a few studios. I know I, I obviously knew I wasn't gonna ha get hired or anything since all my work isn't on that level yet. But oh, nothing wrong with with wishful thinking and trying, right? So I tried, and well, it didn't happen, and it's okay. And then I know I'll try again next year. Oh well, in a few couple of months when I have more skills. So yeah, it's completely normal to like not be happy with your art. And to be honest, it's just something that we all artists face and there's nothing to be ashamed of in that. In this. Okay, I'll just hide that shit now and yeah. Let's give this guy proper hair. Hey. Congrats, but this guy is not bald anymore. Hell yeah. This dude is the hottest man alive. Hell yeah. There you go. How to draw ahead in different angles. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah I hope I hope you guys like I well okay I suck at I suck at outros okay this is my first time but yeah this is how to draw tutorial how to draw heads in different angles I hope you guys like this tutorial and well it at least helped and a little right if not a lot at least a little since I tried my best but yeah, I'm not I'm not a master and well probably the one who's watching this tutorial isn't one either. And I believe we all we learn by helping each other out and yeah. I guess that's all. Make sure keep on believing in your yourself, your artwork and never give up. That's all. Happy have a good day.